Hi, I'm Bob Power with OTC Markets Group, and we're here at the PDAC conference in downtown Toronto, and we're very pleased to be joined by Richard Young, CEO of Taranga Gold, which trades on our OTCQX best market under the symbol TGCDF. Taranga Gold is also an OTCQX best 50 company, and we're very pleased to recognize Richard, your company for being a Best 50 company, so congratulations and thank you for joining us here at the booth. Well, thank you. Can you tell us a bit about what it means to the company to be in the Best 50 list for 2019? Well, you know, Bob, it's, uh, it's great for us because 2018 was our first full year on the OTCQX, mm -hmm. so we're thrilled with the honor. Fantastic. And, and I think that U.S. shareholders are recognizing the growth that we have as a company. So irrespective of industry, We've got organic growth, which markets like, and the U.S. Yep. shareholders, and particularly the retail shareholders, are seeing that. So we're moving from a single asset, 200,000 ounce producer, to a 500,000 ounce producer over the next five years. We're building our second project, which will increase production by 50% to 300 to 350,000 ounces. It's going to bring our costs down, and we're going to generate over $100 million in free cash flow per year, and our market capitalization is just a little over 300 million US, and we've got long reserve projects, and we're moving our third project into feasibility this year. So we're going to continue that growth as we well, move forward. That's great. Congratulations on those Thank developments. Um, and we're pleased to provide the marketplace for you in the US as you continue to grow. Could you tell us a bit about what you see for the industry in general, you know, in a, obviously in addition to the developments at the company, what do you see uh, in the gold industry? Or well, Bob, that's future? a great question. So okay. what's going on from a macro standpoint mm -hmm. is that demand continues to rise, particularly in Asia. Meanwhile, mine supply is declining. Mm. And that's, it's going to continue to decline over the next 10 years because we haven't invested in exploration or new projects to be able to maintain production or grow production. And so as an industry, we're going to see rising costs and lower production. And that's where we stand out is because we're bringing new mines on, we're bringing our cost structure on, and we've got long mine lines. So we certainly think that we will benefit as we move forward because we think that gold prices are going to rise just based on the demand supply fundamentals. Well, great. Well, congratulations on those developments, and thank you for joining us here at the booth at PDAC. Well, Bob, thank you very much. Okay, it's great to see you. Thanks. Okay.